。好，二零一八年嘅第一条题目咧就讲耳仔同埋相关嘅结构啦。咁你睇翻呢幅图啦，有翻 A、B、C、D 都记得翻好嘅习惯啦。就算题目啦唔系即刻问你个名啊或者功能啊，佢一定问翻相关嘅嘢嘅，所以有名咧系一定有好处嘅。半规管啦、耳窝啦、耳膜啦、耳骨啦，肯定自己啲标签咧要系啱先，因为你读翻嚟噶嘛，基本功嚟噶嘛，系咪？然后啦，入题目咯 ，Part A 咧呢个表格咧就显示咗两类型嘅听觉受损啦。第一类型咧就系感觉无細胞嘅受损啦，第二类型咧就系声音嘅传导咧就系传得唔好嘅。咁啊题目就问翻啦，喺我哋嘅耳仔 A、B、C、D 呢啲结构啦，边一啲咧系最似系受损害、功能不良而导致到咧呢两款嘅听觉受损嘅？咁所以条题目咧就系考翻我哋啦，有关于耳仔相关嘅结构佢哋嘅功能啦。第一个啦，感觉毛細胞受损，感觉毛細胞喺边度㗎？喺个耳窝入面㗎嘛，咁所以啦，最大可能呢就係耳窝呢功能不良或者受损啦。第二啦就係声音传导出事啦，喺我哋耳仔呢，有两个结构呢，都係帮我哋传递一啲声音啊或者震荡嘅。第一个呢就係耳膜啦，佢能够将个声波转化成为一个机械式嘅震荡。第二个啦就系耳骨啦，就可以将呢个震荡咧加强，同埋传送去到卵圆腔嗰处嘅。跟住啦，去到 Part B 咧就系我最喜欢嘅体病学摆屙啦。今次讲嘅咧就系贝多芬，原来啦佢系患有咗第二类型嘅听觉受损，就系咧声音传导咧喺个耳仔嗰度就做唔到嘢啦，有机会系耳膜啦或者耳骨受损咯。咁又代唔到啲贝多芬嘅作曲家嘅生涯就此玩完呢？原来又唔系，就用咗以下嘅方法咧去帮。帮助自己听嘢，咬住附住喺钢琴嘅金属棒，透过佢嘅颚骨同埋头脑咧，去聆听音乐，原来都仲听到嘢。咁、那个关键就系个震动啦，系咪啊？咁题目咧就问翻我哋啦，根据翻耳仔嘅结构同埋功能啦，去完成以下嘅 flow chart 啦。呢度咧，我想提一提嘅就系产生听觉嘅机制咧，就唔系静止咧，讲只耳仔嘅。仲有我哋个大脑嘅，咁啊，当个弹琴嗰啲琴键震动嘅时候啦，亦都会震动到个金属棒啦。而当个金属棒嘅震动咧，亦都会连接住佢嘅颚骨同埋头颅骨咧，会传送去到卵圆腔或者耳窝嘅位置啦。咁喺耳窝入面嘅感觉毛細胞究竟探测紧啲乜嘢嘅喐动呢？就系、是、耳窝入面嘅内淋巴啦。当感觉毛細胞受到刺激嘅时候啦，佢哋会产生神经脉冲。就會經過聽覺神經就傳送去到我哋大腦嘅感覺區域啦。咁所以今次呢條題目呢，俾四分你係非常仁慈嘅，因為只係填返四隻字啫。佢大可以繼續俾返四分你，但係就要你成句成句自己寫出嚟。咁你有心理準備啦。過往呢啲嘢呢，其實基本功你係學咗㗎啦，就只係講緊由隻耳仔去到耳膜，去到耳骨，去到耳窩，去到聽覺神經，再去到個腦。究竟发生咩事呢？每一 part 你系可以逐步逐步建构翻嚟嘅，由声波啦，去到震荡啦，去到神经脉冲啦，去到一个听觉嘅产生啦，呢、這个古仔你识未呢？好，跟住啦，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次呢，就由人類耳朵做起點，考兩樣嘢：結構同埋聽覺啦。結構呢，我啊成日講㗎啦，講到口臭啦，結構性特徵同埋功能啦，過往都有題目去考過我哋㗎啦。至於聽覺啦，咁啊大腦啦，感覺區域啦，而感覺區域喺邊度嘅呢？就喺我哋嘅大腦皮層嘅位置啦。而結合個概念啦，就係體病學敗哦。今次講嘅呢，就係聽障啦。过往都系类似嘅题目咧，去讲翻体病学败屙或者听障嘅。之前有条题目就问听觉嘅感知啦。咁过往啦，亦都问个脑啊，问个眼睛啊，都有好多体病学败屙嘅元素嘅。就唔单止眼同埋耳嘅，所以点解成日话体病学败屙咧，系你去学好败屙嘅一个好好用嘅方法嚟嘅。今次呢条题目咧，都有几样嘢咧，系下次可能会问你嘅，就系、是、啦，有关于听障有冇咩嘅高危因素咧？我原来啦，一个地盘工人成日喺个高噪音嘅环境，或者啦，佢嗰啲做 D。J 啊 ，DJ 啊 ，disco 嗰啲人咧，哇，成日肥肥腾腾，好大声噶、哦，啊，咁究竟啦，佢哋个耳仔咩嘅部分，咩嘅结构会容易啲受到损害咧？有冇办法去预防咧？地盘工人嘅唔难理解啦，就系、是、戴嗰啲耳塞啦、耳罩啦，系咪？又或者啦，有冇啲咩嘅医疗方法咧？ Two one eight question one is about the human ear and its associated structure. So you can see that from this diagram, no matter what, does the question ask you the function or structure? You still have the good practice to name all the structure first. Semicircular canal, cochlear, eardrum, and earbones. They must help you to answer the question. And then for part A. 
there are two types of hearing loss shown in the table, damage to the sensory hair cells, failure of sound conduction, so we need to indicate which structure or structures is or are more likely to be defective in each case. It tells us the concept about the functions of the associated structure in the human ear. First of all, sensory hair cell, where are they? They are in the cochlea. Therefore, the cochlea is more likely to be defective in this case. And for the failure of sound conduction, so there are two possible structures. First of all is the eardrum. It helps us to convert the sound wave into the mechanical vibration. And what if the eardrum is damaged, so we cannot convert the sound wave into vibration. For the sound conduction will be poor. Ear bones they are responsible for amplifying and transmitting the vibrations to the over window. Therefore, if they are damaged, so they cannot transmit the vibration to the over window. That means the sound conduction also become poor. And for part B, that's the case of disease approach. We talk about Beethoven. He suffered from the type Y hearing loss and then become deaf in his 40s. Did his career really end? Not really. Some records say that he could hear music through his jawbone and skull by biting on a metal rod attached to his piano. And based on the structures and functions of the human ears, complete the following full chart to show the major steps involved in his method of hearing the music. So we need to mention the human ears and also the cerebrum. So in this question, you can see that a lot of mercy. Four marks just ask you to write down the four keywords. It doesn't ask you to write down all the sentences by yourself. That's a good thing. So first of all, when he bites on the metal rod and the metal rod is attached to the piano, when he is playing the piano, the metal rod will be also vibrated. And the vibration will be transmitted to the bones to reach the over window or the clock here. And inside the cochlea, there are sensory hair cells to detect the endolymph movement. And after the sensory hair cells, they are stimulated to generate and send the nerve impulse along the auditory nerve to the brain. But which part of the brain? That's the sensory area of the cerebrum. Let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question it starts from the human ear, and there are two parts we are going to talk about structures and the hearing. For the structures, I always talk about the adaptive features and the functions. And for the hearing, we do not only mention the human ears, but also the cerebrum and the sensory area, they are in the cerebral cortex. And combine the idea, we use the disease approach to study. So you can see that in the past, there are a lot of questions ask you the disease approach, no matter for the ears, the brain, the eyes, or even other organs. And in this question, it doesn't ask you about the risk factor, prevention, and treatment. For example, a construction worker, they are working in a very noisy environment. Which structure of the human ears will be a higher chance to be damaged? And any method to prevent or any method to treat. For example, the construction workers, they need to use the ear plug to reduce the damage of the loud noise.